Google is coming out with their own Starlink killer, but it's not satellite internet. Starlink is the whole thing. It's an internet service provider. You pay them, you get internet. TAR is just a last mile part of it. But I'll say both of them have issues with line of sight. So Starlink, you need a view of the whole sky. You can't have trees over you. And Project Tara, you have to be able to be point this thing at the tower. It's got some smarts to align itself so you don't have to find green a line it, but you have to get it basically pointed at the tower, the other tower basically pointed at it. And then it aligns itself with mirrors to be perfect. But it's a laser, an infrared laser. So snow and dust and rain, all of those are going to interfere with Tara. And probably, quite frankly, much worse than they do with Starlink. And I imagine trees and buildings. Tara will not go through a tree. What is the range in speed? 12 miles with 10 or possibly someday even 20 gigabits per second. It's a lot higher than Starlink, but Starlink is the whole meal deal. Tara is just that last mile. So if everything on every side isn't that fast, you might not be getting those sort of speed. Tar is not going to be able to reach the ocean. No, no, no. So but Tar, they're talking about beaming 12 miles, which is enough to get to all these farmhouses that aren't worth reaching. But Starlink beams all the way to the middle of the ocean. Airplanes and ships that are thousands of miles from shore getting internet from space through Starlink. And Tar has no answer for that. Subscribe for more connectivity technology.